so much everyone for logging in again. About this, this is ASC Team Best Kept Secrets Exposed. I'm Mike Harold from ISO to speak for a couple of minutes. And Jeff present. Time. Thanks, Welcome to today's ISO TechCast on AFC 15's Best Kept Secrets Exposed. Uh, it's my pleasure to be your host for today. And we we'll thank everybody to, for sharing the time this afternoon and coming to listen to today's presenter, which is once again Jeff Garvis, um, who will be giving us a rundown of all those little things within 15 that you didn't know or that you weren't taking advantage of. Uh, uh, is sponsored by Logic, and we're very grateful to our partner for helping us to facilitate these presentations of the ASC Virtual User Group. Uh, that you find these of benefit, and if you have any feedback for us on these presentations options for future topics, please don't hesitate to let us know. You can contact us by email, and you can send us to feedback at asug.com, and, and we'll work with you to make sure that you guys get the presentations and content that you want to see. At ISA, because I know we've got some new folks here today who are, who are not members of the organization, we appreciate you participating. Uh, we are an independent organization. Our goal and our mission is to help as of Sybase software, get all the content and information they need uh, to for their careers and, and do better jobs that they do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, with these tech casts, we like to give you information that you can take back to your office and to your place of, of business and implement immediately and take advantage of the things that you learn straight away. Uh, the technical, these are not meant to be high level uh, on the management style. These are meant for you, the pra practitioners, to help you, uh, you know, um, job and the things that the systems that you take care of. We those of you that are members for joining us, I uh, appreciate your continued support. As I said, we are an independent organization, uh, and we do uh, save on the uh, contributions and support and members, uh, partners, organization. That's all today. Uh, we'll be here. We'll be answering the Q&A at the end. So if you've got questions during the presentation, please send them via the chat line on the on the webinar console. Uh, we'll best answer those that we can during the presentation. Uh, that we uh, we need some feedback from Jeff from um, we have to answer those Q and A uh, at the end. I'm going to hand back to Daniel. Uh, he wants to say a few words, I believe, about and we'll get going with today's feature presentation. Thanks. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're pleased to present another webcast in our Tips and Tricks series of webinars here. Thank Mike and Isaac again for their teaming and support. It's quite helpful. Uh, so our next event will be in the broadcasted webinar. August 19th, and the topic will be how to find slow-running queries. It be a very useful topic. So I want to remind people as well that we do have our DB group on LinkedIn. It's a group where you can raise questions about database topics, and principal DBAs and others will be responding to those. If you're interested in joining, please contact me or Peter Bernie, which is his email you'll see here. Thanks, Dan. So, Vance, we've also received a number of great topics in terms of things we can discuss. I have to keep getting that feedback, so please keep submitting those. For those who are familiar with Unlogica, as well as well, we're a consulting services company specializing in enterprise data management. Many of our members come from Sybase. We provide Sybase consulting to our customers on a global basis, with them on P&T migrations, as well. We work with SQL Server, Oracle, and DB2. So please come if you need any additional information about our services are offering. Get over to Jeff. Today's topic. I want to you as well that Agic is offering one free day of consulting to all registered attendees, and you can contact me to schedule that. Um, that's on-site consulting. We ask the customer to pick up the trouble, but there'll be no consulting charge. Very attractive offer. So get over to you. Uh, everybody and thank you Dan. I'm just going to dive right into stuff and uh, talk about the topic. <laughs> the idea behind today's presentation is that, well first of all I have to get my mouse back from Dan. The idea behind today's presentation is that there are a lot of features that ASC 15 has that I don't see many shops using. Uh, I do get around a bit and it's an unusual year that I don't get into 15 or 20 shops that seen lately. So uh, when I say I don't see them much, I'm certainly not looking 
looking at the entire Sybase community, but I get the cross-section of folks who have enough P and T or admin issues that they need to bring somebody in to take a second look, and a lot of the things that I see that can raise a lot of issues that are popping up. So that said, you know, there are certainly some new ASC 15 features that, that folks have not started using, things like semantic partitioning, uh, whether it be, hey, we're up and get up to 15, we're not putting the new features in, or we've had the licensing for that yet. Uh, but there are a lot of things that are available today now that folks are not using. So that really is the focus of uh, what we're covering over the course of today. So that then, let's just jump into the topic list. The topics we're going to cover include the resource governor. Resource governor is a mechanism for linking resources to a user, group of users, application, group of applications, etc. Lot process manager. This is a mechanism for grouping individual Sybase engines so that specific users or applications can use some of the engines and different users or applications can use others. Parallel query processing is, has been around since 11.5, but I see a lot of shops who don't use it for a variety of reasons. We'll talk about some of those. For level roles, some places use it very cleverly and some aren't quite sure uh, why they need to care about it. Uh, stats has been around forever. I still run into shops that don't do this or don't do this often enough, and I'll talk about the changes for 15. And then at 12.5, Sybase introduced a job scheduler. Uh, did me by surprise, and I write the book on this sort of stuff, uh, but the first time I, I, I saw that, I said, wait a minute, why hasn't anybody told me about this? Uh, well, part of the reason is that a lot of people are using uh, cron or control m or something similar to do the scheduling and don't need it but there is something built into sybase with uh, templates available and things to use and uh, finally we'll talk a little bit about the mda tables so I'll turn slides on me and uh, let, let me go ahead and control that if, if you would thank you resource governor it's pretty common to hear these types of complaints and this is what we're trying to resolve uh, the fun is something that you see, interestingly, a lot of health insurance companies. I don't know why it's prevalent there, but it tends to be. And what ends up happening is you get these super users, and they download a lot of data to their access databases. And what ends up happening is while they're doing their download, lots of blocking goes on. And you call the person up and say, hey, don't do that anymore. And you get one of two answers. One is it wasn't me when you know it was. And the other is, well, you, you just stop me. And it turns out that this person is politically connected well enough that you're not going to stop that person from doing it anyway. What you can do, though, is stop the person from doing it during 8, 1 to 3, whatever your busy times are. You can stop the person from downloading too much data. You can stop the person from using all the resources on the system in order to get there. Which departments run jobs and when? Uh, we Almost all have seen situations where individual runaway jobs just grabbed all the resources and kept them and uh, didn't let everything else get up and running. Now, this is less common in shops that have, oh, 32 engines that are running, uh, or 32 processors that are running 30 engines, uh, but it can happen in those environments as well. When you're trying to do things like process, oh, a million widgets, well, when you're trying to process these things, the system can get gummed up. So what we can do with the resource governor is with the use of this to a user, group of users, group of applications, or some combination. And it does it in a pretty smart way. Uh, here it can limit uh, the list. It can limit the I.O. cost, estimated or actual. Uh, this is very cool. This is saying uh, if I estimate that I'm going to be hitting a million I.O.s, don't worry. Or they, if I actually hit one IOs, stop the query. Right? If either of these things happen, don't run the query. Same thing for elapsed time. How many seconds can something run? How many uh, rows of data can come back? This estimated and or actual is a great way of saying, all right, I'm going to limit what single process, application, user, ad hoc query, uh, ISQL query, Arden query can do to a particular system. 